Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. This is Arif. In this video, we are going to see who was the best bowler out of the Australian continent. And the Australian continent includes countries Australia and New Zealand. So I have picked three fast bowlers who out of these two countries had the bowling average per wicket lower than 25. Five runs. So all of the other Australian or New Zealand fast bowlers, spinners or fast bowlers have the averages above 25. For the spinners, it is usually a normal thing that they usually have the averages above 25 runs per wicket. But for the fast bowlers, there are many great fast bowlers who have the bowling average is much lower than the 25 but out of Australian continent only these three fast bowlers have the bowling average below 25. First one is Dennis Lilly from Australia, second one is Richard Hadley from New Zealand and the third one is Glenn McGrath also from Australia. Richard Hadley was inspired by Dennis Lilly and Dennis Lilly was his hero. But now let's go to their stats and check how good they were. So if we go to these stats, we figure out McGrath played 124 matches, took 563 wickets at a very good average of 21. And then we go to Headley and we see he played 86 matches took 431 wickets also at a very good average of 22.29 and then we see Dennis Lilly who played 70 matches he is the oldest of these three fast bowlers and he took 355 wickets at almost 24 average these are their strike rates and these are their 5 wickets and 10 wicket saws by comparison of these stats we can't figure out who was great because they all look great. But people say go into details because devil is in the details. So we have to go through their stats a bit more to figure out who was actually the best. So in order to do that, I have picked some stats, the stats of these three fast bowlers in India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan and West Indies. The countries in subcontinent India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan usually have spinning wickets or dead slow wickets. So these three countries are very good if you want to judge who was the great fast bowler because everybody can be a good fast bowler in their backyard. But in order to be a great fast bowler, you have to perform overseas as well. So these three countries can be a very good criteria to judge these fast bowlers along with West Indies. West Indies used to have very great batsmen, their pitches supported most of the time fast bowlers and spinners both, So, but that is also a foreign country so you can check their stats there as well because West Indies didn't have the seaming or the swinging wickets like Australia or England, right? So if we go to McGrath stats in India, we see 33 wickets in 8 matches at a very good average of 21. At least 31 wickets in 6 matches at a very good average of 22. So there is not much difference between McGrath and Hadley here. Lily didn't even play in India, so we can leave him for now. In Sri Lanka, McGrath has 10 wickets in 4 matches at almost 30 average. Hadley has 27 wickets in 4 matches at almost 13 average. So here Hadley is performing better than McGrath. But if we are going to see it carefully, we can realize that once Hadley toured Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka was not a good team. They didn't have confidence as well. So they struggled against a good bowler like Hadley at that time. Once McGrath visited Sri Lanka, they had even won a World Cup they were on a high and they had high confidence as well 
so that's where you can't judge these two bowlers with the Sri Lankan too because I think McGrath once he was playing against Sri Lanka Sri Lanka was able to even win some test matches but Lily three wickets in one match at 35 so Lily just played one match now let's go to their stats in Pakistan Pakistan is a country where I have seen most of the fast bowlers whether they are touring fast bowlers or they are touring spinners they have struggled so to me out of India Sri Lanka and Pakistan Pakistan is the place where you have to look very carefully who played better McGrath 19 wickets in 5 matches at 31 Adley 10 wickets in 3 matches at 45 almost Dennis Lilly 3 wickets in 3 matches at 101 average this is very bad 101 average Lilly was just a below average bowler to me I can tell you and once this is actually the three matches Lilly played in 1980 once Hadley saw his hero's destruction in Pakistan he started skipping to, to Pakistan I remember New Zealand team in 80s decade visited toured Pakistan three times Hadley skipped all these three tours he was so much scared of Pakistan so this is a very good way to analyze how good was Hadley actually as a fast bowler right if you are so much scared of a country and now you can think that how Pakistani fast bowlers take wickets in their backyard if the greatest bowlers of this world are struggling in Pakistan or they are even scared to go to Pakistan then you can think how Pakistani fast bowlers would be taking wickets in their backyard because of the way the nature of the pitches is there right but Bekrath has a good record 5 matches 19 wickets is not a bad record but look at these two fast bowlers same way if you are going to go to West Indies we are going to see 50 wickets of McGrath in 10 matches at 20. His original average, overall average is 21. Here he is even performing better. 15 wickets in 4 matches for Hadley at 27. Look at his average over, overall average. And here in West Indies he is struggling. Lily 0 wicket in 1 match. Can you believe that? And people call this bowler a great bowler. He was a good bowler as far as Ishis are concerned or playing in Australian continent is concerned playing either in Australia or in New Zealand he was great but otherwise below average look Lily's record 6 wickets in 5 matches 1 plus 3 4 plus 1 5 matches total 6 wickets can you believe that and people call this man a great baller he was a good baller as far as taking wickets of English team are concerned and of New Zealand but those are not the only teams in the world you have to perform against other countries as well and he is really struggling outside of his backyard right so as far as going into these details of stats are concerned McGrath overall is a hands down really by miles better baller than Hadley and Lily Hadley is a little bit good than Lily and in the case of good better and best you can say Lily is good Hadley is better McGrath is best so according to these stats the overall stats of these three fast bowlers McGrath is our pick for today and in the future once i am going to analyze the fast bowlers of the african continent or the fast bowlers of the asian continent or fast bowlers of the american continent at the end i am going to produce a list in which i am going to show you who are the best five fast bowlers of all time and mcgrath for sure is going to be there in that list because this is our pick for today's comparison so this is the man 
who was the greatest fast bowler or greatest bowler out of the Australian continent according to the stats. I hope you guys have enjoyed this comparison. You guys can also comment in the comment section and give me feedback. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Have fun.